Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'll be playing through Aliens Bug Hunt. This is a brand new game from Upper Deck Games. It is a one to four player game that takes roughly 45 minutes to an hour and a half to play. It is a fully cooperative game where all the players are working together to meet the mission objectives and then make it out of the complex alive before the aliens overrun the complex. So, as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content. If you want to stay updated on all my videos, also consider that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new stuff. So let's go ahead and head to the table, and we'll see how this one plays. Okay, so before moving in, there's a couple things I want to mention. First off, I am playing a four-player game using all four of the squads. I have Drake over here with my blue squad, Ripley who also will have another member with her, so Hicks is with her, Frost, and Lieutenant Gorman. In this game I went ahead and also added an additional alien card, so I have a total of five alien cards in there to start off with, so this might be a little bit more challenging, we'll see how things go. As far as my missions are concerned, I have shut down the main reactor, which will allow me to activate at any time to ready any character. I also have Secure Space Station, or Space Port, and this one lets me activate at any time to destroy up to three Xenomorphs in a single tile and that contains at least one squad. And then finally I have Plant Demo Charges. This one lets me, I can activate at any time and choose a tile with no squads on it and break or breach all of the barriers on that tile. So that could be very handy, especially later on in the mission so from there, let's go ahead and move in. So the first thing I have to do is resolve an alien spawn card as I'm on that first space as the last part of setup. Ooh, this one's not too bad. So I have one alien in sector four. And this one is a face hugger attack. Each squad must deplete one character. If they don't, their point man takes a wound. So I'll go ahead and do that guy there. I'll do this guy, I'll do Ripley, and I'll do that guy there. All right, so that'll take care of that. And then we're ready to move into the phase. So I'm going to flip over the first card, and it is the green squad. So that squad is going to move forward as their first action. So we'll flip over a tile and place it. And then they're going to go ahead and do a breach as their action, and I'll do one going forward. Then we'll reveal another card. Red Squad. So Red Squad's going to move forward and move again into that space, and that'll be a barrier, so it's going to cost them all the rest of their movements. And we have an alien in there as well. So there's a pair of them in there. And with Red Squad, I will go ahead and use my guy there to attack the two of them. And I have eliminated both of them. All right, it's Red Squad again. So I'm gonna move into this location here. And there's nothing there. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add a breach to that location. Moving on, we have Blue Squad. So Blue Squad is going to move forward and move forward again, revealing the new location. Ooh, this is a nasty one. We have three aliens in this one and an objective token. All right, then Blue Squad is going to attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Drake to roll for them. Oof, so Drake takes two wounds And the other one doesn't die either, so that was really bad. All right, over to Red Squad to go. Red Squad is going to move up. Found another objective and two aliens. With that one. So they're going to move forward, and then I will attack with Hicks. And he takes care of both of his aliens. So moving on, back to Blue Squad. Blue Squad took quite a bit of damage. So I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the objective and not move. So then I'm going to add it to the 
I'm going to add it to that area. Next, we have the aliens. So they're going to move up one. We have aliens again. They're going to move up again. And a third alien moving up again. So the aliens are going to activate, attacking, and dealing three damage to the grunt in that space. That is really bad luck for blue team. And then the aliens would move, which there aren't going to be any aliens that move. So then we have to resolve a spawn. So we have two aliens in sector one. So they're going to go there. Two aliens in sector four. So we'll have one here and one there. And then finally, two aliens in sector five, which will put two more there. Moving on. We have, we get to choose, so I'm going to have Yellow Squad go. They are going to move one, two, and they're going to attack using both of their squad members, so three. And one's still alive, but the other two are eliminated at least. Then Yellow Squad again, so Yellow Squad is going to move through that barricade. And they find another alien. So they're going to reload. Is their action. Moving on. Blue squad again. Blue squad is going to attack. And that alien just will not die. <laughs> Man. All right. Over to green squad. Green Squad is going to move up and they will also try to attack. Still nothing. Back to aliens. So they're going to move up again. Aliens again. And Yellow Squad. So Yellow Squad is going to attack with theirs and eliminating that alien and that is all they can do so moving on yellow squad again so yellow squad is going to move forward into that space and then they will go ahead and place a breach token up here and then the final card is green squad so Ooh, what do we do? Green Squad is going to move. One, two. Oh, I can't do that. I can only move one because there's a barrier there. So I think I'm going to stay here instead. And I will I will attack. This alien cannot last forever. There he goes. He is down. So then that will end the that. I'll have to shuffle these back up. Okay. So we are starting off with Red Squad. Red Squad is looking a little rough here. So they are going to reload as we can't move right now because there are aliens in our space. And then we have another Red Squad. So I will go ahead and use Ripley. Now it says Ripley gets plus three firepower whenever there's an objective counter in your tile. So there is, so she will get three. So she's gonna go ahead and shoot at those two there and that'll take care of them. Moving on, we have green squad to go. So green squad is going to move here and then he'll explore this tile here. So. That'll take care of that. And then he is also going to reload for his action. We have the aliens and yellow squad. Yellow squad is going to move down.
and they are going to attack those aliens. I will use that guy there. And both of those go down. All right. And then the aliens are going to go. So again, we have the alien phase. Aliens that are going to attack. There aren't any aliens with our squad members right now. Then they're going to move. So this alien here is going to move here and escape, moving the token up again. And then this alien here will move into one of those squads. So I'll move it into move it into blue squad. Finally, we have to spawn some new aliens. So let's see what we get. We have three aliens in sector one. And right now we don't have any hive tokens, so they'll all go there. And three aliens in sector five. So two there and one in front. Okay, moving on. Another alien card, so this is going to move forward and we'll add another card to the discard pile and then we also trigger that again. So aliens are going to attack. The two in his space will attack him. Well, first I'm going to go ahead and use Hicks's ability here. So it says whenever your squad is attacked, you may deplete Hicks to shoot before the squad takes damage. And Hicks can fire at two aliens and takes them both out. So that was huge on his part. We have blue squad that is going to take a hit. And that is it. So then aliens are going to move and they will move into here with green. From there, we have a spawn card. So, oof, a little bit nastier. We have two in location one. We have two in location two. So we'll have one here and one there and then two in location three, which will drop two more in that spot. Mm, it's not looking too good for our Marines. All right, moving on, we have the choice. So, man, oh man, oh man. Um, I am gonna go with yellow. I'm gonna move him one and two. And then I will take a shot. I'll shoot at this guy first as he's in my space. And then one of these guys here. And they are down as well. Okay, that'll finish off that. Then we're on to aliens again. Green Squad. Green Squad hasn't done a whole lot this time. So, oh, whenever they spawn in our tile, we get to remove one of them. So that was part of Frost's ability. So I'll go ahead and do that. So that'll help out there. From there, then, I am going to... I will move Green Squad first out of there because I have the cover, and then I will move him into here to help out with that. So then I'm going to use both of them to attack these guys. One stays alive, one attacks. So I'll take it on... I'll take it on Frost. And that'll finish off his turn. So back over to yellow to go. Yellow is going to... I am going to... I think I'm going to stay there and reload. And then moving on, we have green squad again. So they're going to go ahead and attack again. Trying to take care of these guys. One still alive. That has been a rough space... The aliens have got some really good cover in there, apparently. Over to Blue Squad. Blue Squad is going to... I think Blue Squad's going to move into here. That drops a new objective. And a couple of aliens. And then they are going to reload. Okay, then on to... And then blue goes again. So I will attack with him and take care of both of them. So that finishes those guys off. We have blue squad again. Wow. I am going to, I will drop a, a breach on there and that'll finish off their turn with that one. Over to red to go. Red will, Red is going to attack. Try to finish off that alien there. Takes care of it. And 
On to yellow. Yellow hasn't doesn't have a whole bunch yet. So yellow is going to move and into there. Okay, so we've got two aliens there. And I will go ahead and take a shot. I will use that guy there for two. Two, they don't die. And an alien. So that'll finish off that round. So at this point, I'm going to take a few rounds off camera and we'll be back to see how our squads are doing. Okay, so I played through a couple more cycles of the phase deck and our Marines are taking a punishment, blue especially. I've gotten really lucky with this grunt. He has one more token to flip over though, so his luck is running out one way or the other. And all of our squads have taken a fair amount of punishment. We've only been able to find three objectives. We have two more out so far, so we've still got a ways to go in this labyrinth of LV426. So back into it, we have Yellow Squad again. The Yellow Squad is in some trouble. I'm going to go ahead and grab the objective token, and then I will also activate that at any time to eliminate up to three Xenos in a space. So I'll go ahead and do that. And that will at least open up that area. Then we have the choice. I can activate any squad I want to. So I think I'll do... Um, I think I'm going to do blue squad. I'm going to move them into here. So there's another objective and two more aliens. Ugh. I'm going to, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and fire at them and see if I can take them out. And I got them. Whew. Close call. All right. Then I am going to, it's the aliens. So they're gonna move up back over to green to go. So green is up next. I am going to move into here and I will take that objective and add it to the demo charges. Next, we have red to go. Red, what do I wanna do with red? Red, I am going to, I will, I'm going to use this first. This is, this lets me activate any time, choose a tile with no squads in it and breach all barriers in that tile. So I'm going to do it onto this tile here. And that way I'll add breaches to each one of these sections here. All right, then I'm going to, Move in, one, two, and I will trigger Ripley's ability. No, I'm gonna do this guy. And then there's only two aliens there, so I'll fire at them, and I've gotten both of those out of the way. Okay, red gets to go again. So do I move forward or do I grab that objective? I think I'm gonna grab that objective, and I'll add it to that there, okay. And then it's the aliens. So we have another alien activation phase. Aliens are gonna attack. There aren't any with our troops at the moment. So then they're going to move. These aliens are gonna move off and be eliminated from the board. That one will move as well. And I also moved the token up because of that. Then I have to deal with a new spawn. So, wow, just one alien in there and then we have the face hugger attack each squad must deplete one character if they don't their point man takes a wound so i will have to deplete one character in each squad so i'll do that one all right so got a little bit of a reprieve there overall then we have yellow again so yellow is going to i'm going to move forward and I find an alien. So then I am going to, I'll use Gorman to take a shot at him. Oh, too far. And he's not going anywhere. And the aliens are going to go. So again, we'll move down. Aliens are going to attack. So yellow squad takes one. Then the aliens are going to move, so they're going to move there. These guys will escape, moving that up again. And then we will draw a new card. 
So, oof, five aliens. I'll have two here, one in here, and two in front of him. So, yellow squad's in a little bit of trouble, and he is all isolated by himself. That'll take care of that. So, on to green to go. Green has used all of his, so he's going to reload. And I think I'm going to use this ability to ready a character. So I'm going to go ahead and ready that character on yellow. Then the aliens are going to go again. Green's up next. So green is going to move forward. And I will add a breach to that spot there. Next, we have Blue. Blue hasn't gone in a little while. So Blue is going to... Blue will do... What do I want to do? Man, Blue, what do you want to do? I'm going to move forward, and I will reload. All right. And blue again. So this time, blue is going to move into this tile here. And we find just one alien. So blue will attack. I'm going to go with this guy here. And that's a dead alien. All right. Blue again. Blue is all about it. So blue is going to... I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Push it forward. Found another objective. Another alien. And I will attack. So I'm going to go ahead and use Drake. And I got him. So he's toast. Running out of cards. Okay, so yellow's up again. I'm going to use both of yellow's characters to attack. I'm going to attack the aliens in my space first. Ooh, one stays alive and attacks and does damage. And then the aliens here. And they're dead. Okay, at least I was able to kill three of them. All right. And then the aliens are going to go. So aliens are going to attack first. So I have to choose one in yellow. I will do this one here. And yellow is dead. So the rest of his... Oh, I was 50-50 on that one. All right. So he is toast. And we move these guys over. All right, uh, then the alien, oh, we have red as well over here. And I do have Hicks, so I am going to activate him to attack first before they attack. So I got care, took care of them. Then these aliens are going to move. And then finally, a new card comes out. We have four aliens in Sector 2. That's not good. All right, then another alien card. And then red squad's going to go, so I will move one, two, and uh, three there. Well, that's a roundabout way of doing it, but that's what I did. So I got two aliens and the last objective, so that's good. I just need to grab those objectives and get out of here. Oh, no, I need one more. Yeah, I need one more objective after that. Okay, so red is going to reload then. And the final card is another alien. Some good luck here, come on. And blue squad's up next. So blue is going to... Oof. Blue, I've got one guy left to attack. Do I push my luck? I am going to... I will, yes, I'm going to move. I'll move into here. I found another alien. And I will try my luck with it. Come on. And I got him. Whew. That was close. All right. Over to Red Squad to go. Red Squad has all their guys, so I'm going to go ahead and attack. And I got care of both of them. Okay. Aliens are going to go. And Red Squad again. So I am going to go ahead and pick up that objective. And I will put it here. And I'm going to go ahead and use it right away to ready the grunt in that space. 
So then we have Yellow Squad to go. He is going to definitely use that right away to try to take out a couple of those aliens. No, they're both sticking around. Wow. Yellow Squad again. They're going to have to ready this time. And I can't move out because I don't have a barricade. Blue Squad. Blue Squad is completely depleted as well. So I'm going to have to ready them before I can assist. And the aliens are going to activate. So Yellow Squad taking three hits. Ouch. And that is it. So then movements. These guys are off. So I'll move it up again. And then we have spawning. So uh, the face huggers again. So one more in this one. And then each squad has to deplete a character. So I'll go ahead and do that one. This guy... Ripley and that one. All right, uh, let's move on. Over to Red Squad to go. Red is going to move, so there's two and three. And then I will go ahead and, and reload. Then we have aliens, so they're going to flip. Again, they're going to attack, so he is going to take one. And then I have to flip over two of them. There's nothing else I can do at this point. So, and he is KIA'd. So, let's see if I had. Oh, only one. I had terrible luck there. Yellow Squad is down to their last person. We have got to get over there and help them out. Then this one is going to move in. And another spawn card. All right. So, we have three in sector two. So, that'll be one there, one here, and one there. And then three in sector three, so all three will go here. All right, uh, then over to up, oh, and I also have to add another alien card in there from that flip. So now it's Green's turn. Green is going to move one, two. Oh, wait, let's go one, two, three, and then I will pick up the objective. For that one, I ju we just need one more objective to finish this off. And we need some, there's some more aliens. And yellow gets to go now. So yellow, yellow is going to drop a barricade, or a breach, as he desperately needs some help here. And it is over to that. So I'm going to go ahead and spend both of these guys with blue to take some shots. So first off, I have to handle the alien in my space. He's gone. And the alien's in here. And only one makes it, so he's going to move into my space. So I've at least saved yellow from a horrible death at this point for a little bit. Blue goes again, so I'm going to refresh or reload. And aliens are going to move. Getting down to the end of the pile here. Green is next. So green is going to move forward. I need that last objective. No luck there. So I am going to... I will add a... I'm actually going to trigger the... Hmm, do I want to do that? Yeah, yes, I do. I'm going to go ahead and do that here. And that will trigger these... I'll do it on this location to breach all the spots on that location. All right. Then we will go... I activated that, and I still have my action to do with him. I will... I'll go ahead and reload just to be safe. Okay. And the aliens go again. So we have another alien leaving because there's, well, the one blue is going to attack and that will finish off that guy there as he had a KIA come up. And these two will move over. Held out pretty long. Then the aliens are going to move. So this one gets off and moves that to tile up. And these are going to move forward. Another alien. And green is going to go. So green... Green will, I'm going to move this way, and no luck there, so I will add a breach to that space. And that will finish off Green's turn. 
Let's see what happens here. First card up is red. So red is going to, hmm. Red needs to start defending a little bit. So she's gonna move back. There's two and three. And now she's in a space with an objective icon. So she's gonna use Ripley to try to hammer on these aliens. And two, of one dies and one moves back. Okay, so that was not very successful on her part. Then the aliens are going to activate over to Blue Squad. Uh, Blue Squad, we're going to go ahead and attack. And they take care of that one. Over to Red Squad to go again. I'm going to go ahead and go with my Grunt there. And he gets a wound. He got one of them though, at least. I think that's the bad space. Like that has been the space of constant terror for my guys. All right, so first off, aliens attack. Poor Red is gonna take another wound. No, I'm gonna use Hicks this time and see if I can get any luckier. There it is, so he is gone. Then aliens are going to move. So this guy leaves, moving that up. And then we have a new card coming out. So just three in sector one, which will have two here and one there. Then green squad's going to go. Green is completely open. So green is going to, I'm gonna move forward into here and then I will go ahead and place a breach here. All right, over to the next one. Yellow is going. Ooh, so yellow will, yellow is gonna move. So I'm gonna move one. Well, hmm. Yeah, yellow's gonna move forward and he'll attack. Good thing, because that was a not a friendly alien. Over to red. Red is going to ready or reload. Over to blue. Blue is going to move. One, two, wait, let's go one and here. So we've got two aliens. And he'll go ahead and use Drake to fire on them. One attack, so Drake takes his third wound. Then we have yellow going. So yellow is going to move. One, two, three, and reload. Aliens are going to activate, so we are having another alien spawn. So aliens are going to attack. Blue takes a wound. And green is going to take a wound. Then we have movement so these guys are going to move and we have three aliens coming out one in sector three one in sector four and one in sector five next card is my choice so i will I'm going to continue moving into this space here, and it is a blank, so no effect. And there's nothing else he can do there. Well, actually, I'm going to spend him to trigger his ability, which lets me ready any squad or any character. So I'm going to go over here and ready the blue guy there. Over to the aliens. Aliens again. And blue squad. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with blue squad. And the alien's still alive. <clears throat> and then the aliens are going to go again. So first off, attacking, we have aliens. So Hicks is going to activate and takes care of that one. Hicks has been keeping them, them alive with that. Then we have blue taking a wound and green taking a wound, which he's at his max. So, okay, we're okay there. Then aliens are going to move. We have one there, one here. 
one there, and that's it. Then we have spawn two aliens. And we have one in sector two and one in sector three. So that'll be right there. And then play the xenomorphs move step again. So then the aliens are going to move again. This will move here. That'll come off. We already moved it up once this round, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we're on again. So more aliens. Woof. Lots of aliens there. Holy moly. And green. So green is going to... I will attack. Let's see if I can take care of that one. And he's toast. All right, so that at least takes care of that. Over to yellow. Yellow is going to move forward. Still no objective. Oh, man. And he will reload. Final card is green. So green is going to... Let's see, what do I want to do with green? So I'm going to go one, two, and three into there. And there is the final objective. Okay, good. So we have one alien in there. And the objective, which I'm going to spend my action to pick up the objective. Oh boy, here we go. And the alien. So we have another alien activation. So green, we have to take another one with green. And he is gone. So how did I do with that? Ooh, yeah, he was going to go no matter what. Bad there. Okay. And he's going to move over. Blue takes another one. So blue is slowly ticking by here. Red is going to take two of them. So red's looking a little rough here. That is all the aliens' attacks. Then these are going to move, moving up. And then we have a card. So, ugh, lots of aliens. So we have three in Sector 3, so three more there. And three in Sector 4, which will put two in there and that in there. Then we have blue. So blue is right in the middle of that. So he is going to have to do that. I am going to use this last breach to do some breaches here to open up this so we can get a straight shot back to the base. And then another alien card. So again, the aliens are going to activate. We have five on red. So there's one, two. So he's toast. And now Hicks is going to take a couple. So we'll go ahead and add these two there. And we got one more, so I gotta flip these back over and shuffle them back up. So we took care of that. We have one on green and another one on blue. So blue is up to his max. Then aliens are going to move. So we have two more piling in here with red. One escapes, so that'll move that up. And then we have a new card that is full and that is going to be the game because i have to add more aliens that i'm able to that'll be three there that'll be one two here and i would have had to add three there as well so unfortunately our marines were unsuccessful with this one came right down to the wire though we were super close i had my objectives so all i needed to do was basically get all my squads back to the apc in time so a little bit longer, I think a couple more turns, depending upon how things would have gone out. So let me see when the next alien card would have activated if we've been, been able to clear things up. So right away, another one would have come out. Yellow, I could have moved him. Green, blue, another alien. So yeah, wasn't it probably wouldn't have mattered either way if that art card would have come up because then we would have had another one here, which would have probably been enough to finish our Marines off. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it and I take into account everything you say to make the best possible videos. And until next time, I'll see you later.